Data warehouse is essentially a subject-oriented integrated view of data from multiple disparate sources. Data warehouse typically stores current and historical records and are primarily used for large-scale query processing and analysis rather than transaction process. And typical use cases for uh, data warehousing is for providing a single referenceable data, uh, fast query access, multi-dimensional analysis, uh, finding correlation between uh, multiple uh, uh, sources of data. Uh, for instance, uh, one example could be to understand impact of sales across uh, various uh, seasonality to weather condition and using the right channels, be it for web and uh, offline to provide the right uh, set of discounts. So what does a typical data warehouse comprise of? A uh, typical database environment consists of an ETL component, uh, which is extraction, transformation and load solution, uh, which is essentially a set of tools to help extract data from multiple sources like flat files to relational databases and transform it into a common format based on your schema design and load it into your data warehouse. Once the data is available, the next step is around analyzing this information from large volumes of data using simple to specialized uh, query processing language. For instance, uh, finding a typical call volumes for a roaming customer uh, between one to six hours or with various time durations. And the third uh, is a set of management tools to manage the data warehouse like providing adapters to integrate with various data sources, help you in schema design and management and so on. The other essential step of a data warehouse application is the design of schema. Uh, so based on application, uh, you define high level entities and use patterns like uh, star schema and essentially create uh, facts and dimension tables. Uh, so you would create high level entities like customers and vendors instead of uh, savings account or checking account uh, which lets you uh, read the volumes of data effectively. So far I've talked about traditional data warehouse which worked well over the years but with the advent of various uh, new forms of data which are primarily unstructured in nature like financial reports, blogs, uh, twitter handles, social medium and various other integration channels like in-flight data from IoT devices, uh, behavioral data from cognitive apps and the whole move towards uh, cloud which provides uh, better scalability and cost options. We need to uh, look at uh, a new modern data warehouse that looks across these disparate data sources and channels holistically to provide intelligent insights for your business. So this slice provides one view of a modern data warehouse. At the bottom layer, you have uh, the data sources, which comprise of traditional uh, sources of data uh, from relational database to CRM, unstructured sources like uh, data from uh, blogs, uh, twitters, financial reports, PDF documents, and the third being uh, data from uh, devices and cognitive apps. The base layer provides uh, infrastructural capabilities uh, for instance, uh, supporting relational databases uh, to columnar databases, non-relational databases like Hadoop and real-time uh, streaming infrastructure uh, for dealing with uh, real-time uh, in-flight data from IoT devices. The next layer uh, provides uh, query processing uh, from simple to complex query, uh, stream queries uh, which acts upon real-time streams of data and more sophisticated techniques like using natural language processing which allows to query using natural language from unstructured uh, piece of text and uh, you can combine all of these to get the desired results and a lot of innovations are happening in the space and how do you combine structured and unstructured query uh, for deriving an outcome. The topmost layer provides uh, business intelligence through uh, real-time reporting, uh, sophisticated analytics using technique like machine learning and deep learning which basically learns from your data uh, to provide uh, predictive and pres prescriptive actions over a period of time.